All right, Elise, here's your barrel. Great. Now, this is a reclaimed food rated barrel. Okay. All right. Now, what do you think it was used for? Take a whiff uh, of that. Fruit punch? Fruit punch. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's actually a soda bottling company. And I actually bought this barrel. How much do you think it was cost? 15 to 20 bucks. Good guess, but only five bucks. Wow. All right. So now we have to think about getting water in and getting water out. Mm -hmm. So to get water out, I'm going to use this right here. This is a boiler shutoff, and I paid seven bucks for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole right in the bottom of that and screw it into the barrel. So now I'm just going to start the hole right here. We're going to drill a one inch hole because the outside diameter of our valve is one inch. Okay. To make a watertight seal, we're using thread sealing tape. Now I can just screw the valve into the barrel. Okay. All right, we've put a tap in the top of the barrel, and that's going to be our inlet for the water to get into it. But now we have to figure out how we can get water off the roof into the barrel. So what I did is I went online and I bought this diverter right here for 25 bucks. There's actually a filter in here so that if there's any debris that comes down the downspout, hits the filter, bypasses it, and goes down the downspout down below, and doesn't go into your barrel. All right, so what we're going to do is we actually have to cut a section of the downspout out. We'll insert the diverter, connect the tube to the diverter, and then the water will go into the barrel. All right, so now i got to cut a piece of the downspout out. You want to hold my belt? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so now in the winter time, you want to save this cap because you're going to want to remove the hose and cover that. But in the summer, you re remove it and connect the hose to the diverter. Now I just connect this to here, to the barrel. All right, Elise, I put a little bit of water in it so we can charge the barrel up a little bit because it looks like we're going to get some rain. Okay. You want to try putting a water can under it? Yeah, let's get some water out. Look at that. There it goes. Now wow. Fill that up and you get all your watering done. Yeah. Now, you want to make sure in the wintertime you open up that silcock to drain all the water out and disconnect the infeed from the diverter and plug up that hole. Okay, we'll be sure to do that.